Hi, my name is John Gall, and this is my ESS 490 presentation. So, I did my presentation on Gavin Flegg. Gavin Flegg is a uh, is a, currently the director of talent management at and development pathways at City Football Group. Um, unfortunately, I could not get in contact with him as his LinkedIn is locked, and I don't know his email, but. Um, uh, City Football Group uh, includes European Giants, Manchester City, MLS Team, uh, New York City FC, Australian Club, Melbourne City, and they have seven other clubs and plan to expand to every continent. Um, there he heads the scouting of future players, development of youth players, and analysis of opponents. So on slide three in his past, um, in an interview I found, he stated that he actually grew up coaching instead of playing football because he was not up to class with uh, his other youth, but he did love the game. Um, he attended clinics in his teen years and took every qualification he could. And then he attended the University of Wales Institute in Cardiff. Um, he earned a BSc in coaching and then a postgrad in performance analysis. Slide four, um, for past work, he started out at Bolton Wanderers from 2004 to 2006 as the head of academy performance analysis. And then for two years, he moved up to the first team performance analysis. Um, during this time, Bolton were actually one of the first clubs to have a full, uh, fully funded analysis department. Um, in 2006, for two months, he actually was the performance and opposition analysis for Tunisia at the World Cup. And then in 2007, he moved to Newcastle United and was the head of performance analysis. In 2010, he joined Manchester City and he was the head of performance analysis. And in 2012, he um, moved up to the head scouting and recruitment for Manchester City. Then in 2014, he moved to um, City Football Group, which is the big group that includes Manchester City and um, was a global lead for talent management. And in 2008, he got his current position of um, Director of Talent Management and Development of Pathways, and he's been there ever since. On slide five, his influence uh, within the world. Um, since being at Manchester City, they've won four Premier League trophies along with some other um, FA Cups and tournament trophies. Um, in 2012, he made Manchester City's uh, advanced scouting data public in order to advance the game and revolutionize how business is done. So what that means is all of the data that they compiled, he actually um, brought to the public so anyone who needed it or wanted it could look at it and see. Um, I think this was a massive move for data analytics, uh, especially in soccer, because everyone, if everyone's data is locked up, then there's a chance that some genius or who, someone who could use it doesn't have that opportunity and can't change the game. Um, so I think for my aspirations, um, I think I need to uh, gain more knowledge. Um, I'm planning on going to grad school for da data analysis. Um, it'd be awesome to follow the same path as him, but uh, just starting out at a smaller team or at a big club at an entry level position and then uh, growing through the ranks. Um, the team doesn't really matter to me, um, nor does the sport. I think just uh, reading the data is kind of the same, just the statistics are different. Um, I'd love to work in England, obviously they're the epicenter for soccer, but soccer is a worldwide sport, so anywhere would be awesome. And then my references, um, thank you for listening. I hope you like my presentation and thank you.